Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see, our little board has changed a little bit. Now we're into uh, November, so we've got just kind of a fall montage coming on. Uh, the Halloween board is packed away for another uh, year or so, and it'll it'll come back, you know that. But uh, Matt from uh, Slip Joint Sawyer, my good friend Matt from across the pond there, he uh, asked for an open tag to see your canoes. So uh, I'm sorry, Matt, that it's taken me so long to uh, jump on this one. It's it's one that I was going to do, and I just have uh, I just been busy. But uh, that's okay. I'm getting to it now, and I hope you're going to enjoy this. And you guys know uh, Slip Joint Sawyer. You can go check out his channel. Uh, him and uh, John from Thrifty Kniffy have started a live show that comes on on Sundays uh, before my show. So go ahead and check that out. Those guys are doing a bang up job uh, with their live shows and stuff. And uh, keep an eye out because John's got uh, a big announcement coming out. I won't. Uh, I won't reveal any more than that. So you guys uh, will have to tune in to uh, see that. But let's talk about canoes. Let's talk about the knives. Uh, I'm not going to get all into the history of the canoe pattern or any of the other stuff like that. We're just going to kind of go through my, my collection of them. When I started collecting traditional knives, this was one of the first ones I bought was this uh, Rough Rider. Uh, I had just discovered uh, Rough Rider knives and Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And I got this one, this is in the uh, Titanium series, and uh, this and a uh, Copperhead. They were my first forays into uh, the traditional knives, and I really liked that the tangs were covered. And these are, you know, pretty small handy knives. You can move up a little bit if you need to get a four-finger grip, but uh, if you're just holding on to the uh, handle itself, your pinky may or may not fall off. Uh, but all of them are about the same. You have a uh, nice uh, spear blade, and I love the the long pull on this one. I think that just really looks great. And then you'll have a uh, pen blade on the other side. You know, so just uh, this one is coated uh, with that uh, titanium, and these are this is an older series. The bone was actually uh, really black and dark when I got it, but it is really uh, grayed out and uh, you know it's really I think quite striking it's funny because I'll, I'll think of it and I'll, I'll say where is that black canoe and I was like oh yeah it's not black anymore <laughs> it's uh it's definitely lightened up uh, carried this for quite a while uh, just a very handy knife and one that uh, that I still like uh, to this day my second rough rider uh, was the Blue Mule series. I wanted to try out a real true working knife. So it's got the uh, G10 uh, covers and then it has uh, lined uh, bolsters on it. And this uh, has a pretty good snap, pretty good pull. And it is, uh, I think, really a, a very handsome. It's a little more of a, uh, a more bulbous uh, shape at the end of the nose. It's not as, uh, I guess, when you think of a spear blade, I kind of think of, of this, but you know, then you have this one here. It's They're both about the same, but this is almost more drop point, like I think with the swedge than uh, the other one, but definitely a good series, the Blue Mule. Uh, I have the uh, Sunfish in that uh, series as well. And of course you still get a really good, uh, good size pen blade. So that was it for my Rough Rider collection. Oh no, it's not, I got one more. I, I looked down and I saw it. I got this one, the Carbon Classic 2. And I did a patina, a forced patina on the uh, blades following uh, Mr. Barlow's advice. And, and so it uh, is some uh, apple cider vinegar on there. So that uh, that got that all all teenered up, gave it a, a coating, and then you have the uh, pen blade as well, which uh, almost got like a, a double coating of, of that because it was uh, closed 
above uh, when this one was getting it soaking and uh, it really uh, turned almost a, a black but it's kind of mellowed out as well but you can see how it's a little bit darker on the uh, than the other blade but yeah this is cool too with the uh, carbon classic 2 you get the uh, micarta covers the blue liners and everything and just a, a really fun knife i really do like that one i have a couple of the uh, queen knives this is the saw cut bone this was the first of the of the queen uh, knives that I got. Uh, it's just still, I think, one of the finest uh, examples. I mean, I love the saw cut bone. I love how thin it is. Fit and finish are superb. You know, this is just <clears throat> a really fantastic knife. And just uh, very cool. I, I like that one a lot. The other one I have is the winter bottom bone. And that is one that uh, kind of went against the pattern. John and I both pointed out that the tang is actually above the uh, bolster. And so it's, uh, I wanted to get one because I like the winter bottom bone. Uh, and it says queen steel on it, which is nice. Uh, again, a good, uh, a good blade. Uh, just, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit different from, from the other ones because it has that uh, variation of the of the tangs being raised, which is just one of those things that you're like, huh, I wonder why they did that. And I'll set that one there. Uh, another one that is pretty cool is this Marbles. This is a ram horn uh, covered uh, one, and I really like how they did all the character, all the colors. You can really see the depth and how rugged that is almost uh, it's almost translucent here where it meets the uh, bolsters and this was uh, with the canoes you're gonna see a lot of stuff you know this was my first uh, Rough Rider this marbles was actually my very first uh, eBay purchase was on this one so uh, really uh, it's kind of a soft uh, pull soft snap to it but uh, it's still a very cool looking knife and I, I think it's uh, definitely uh, definitely kind of uh, worth it to me, but uh, your mileage may vary. Now to go from a soft pull to a hard pull, uh, this Uncle Henry UH-11, uh, man, this is one of the hardest uh, opening knives I, I have. It is really, really super stiff. And uh, it doesn't really have snap. It's almost like it's just uh, almost like pinched, uh, bolsters but uh, yeah both of them the pen and the main blade are very uh, very tough uh, this is of course in the uh, new gen uh, staglon but uh, kind of a cool knife I'll go to a couple of uh, classics here this uh, buck canoe you know I had to have a buck in here Tom you know, so it's got the uh, pack of wood, uh, but again, very cool knife. These are the buck traditional knives. You can't go wrong with them. Uh, they come in some, a couple of different cover configurations, but this one was a gift from my son. So it was, uh, it was very nice. And yes, I, I do, I like that little buck. The uh, one and only case canoe I have is the uh, amber peach seed peach seed jig say that five times fast and this is the one with the uh indian in the canoe which i think is just awesome and i i really like these of course this is in the uh, cv steel uh i think you can't go wrong with this and it is i think you know nice and slim uh the jigging is nice and just, you know, not too heavy, not too big, not too small. This fits right in that Goldilocks zone. Uh, really a very cool knife. Got a couple of uh, small ones. This is a uh, Queen City. Uh, this is a uh, Black Lip Pearl, which I thought would be really a uh, nice thing to have. Uh, this is like the uh, butter bean type style. But uh, I thought this would be nice for a uh, for a little uh, 
for a little church carry. Uh, just a nice little small blade. Looks nice. You don't see very much, uh, you know, of the uh, mother of pearl or pearl handled knives uh, much. And, you know, it's just, so it's kind of a throwback, but definitely one that you can have as a, uh, if you're going to some kind of function or something where if you're going to use a knife, you want something that looks really classy. Because, you know, let's face it, when we carry traditional uh, knives, the one of the main reasons, at least for me, is that uh, th there's style points that come with this. You know, it's just cool to have one. It's cool to have one that looks good. Cool to have a knife that not everybody else has. You know, you want something to kind of show off. And this is that little uh, dog leg canoe that Smoky Mountain came out with a little while. And it's a lock back, so it's a variation on the pattern. But you got the nice little uh, spear point, and then your uh, pen blade is non-locking. But it's actually like a little spay blade. I forgot, I thought it was a more of a pen, but it's actually more of a spay. So there you go. we got some schmutz here in the... Uh, caught on the swedge or oh no that's just a reflection from the swedge i thought there was a little piece of gunk on there you can never tell because uh you know how it is you pull out a knife and sometimes it's got some stuff left on it and it had that really uh peculiar little shield uh, little dog leg little crook uh type uh emblem there on the uh, denim micarta so definitely a a different kind of a of a knife you know but uh Still, it fits in that canoe pattern. But I do have a new canoe that this just came to me about a week or so ago from uh, Mark Kaufman. He uh, sent this to me uh, as a gift, and I couldn't be happier. This is a hen and rooster, and this is just a beautiful, beautiful knife. Uh, really nice uh, green covers on there. And this one, uh, I'll have to do some research on it has half stops there's your uh, tang stamp and on the other side it's uh, Bertram Cut Cutlery uh, Solingen so this is the uh, the hen and roosters that everybody's really looking for those really nice uh, German made uh, ones and the fit and finish is just perfect on it you have another uh, tang stamp there but what a sweet little knife. I mean, talk about uh, nice and thin, disappears in your pocket. Uh, I couldn't be happier. But yeah, this is uh, the second hen and rooster knife that I've, uh, that I've picked up. But yeah, just a really, really beautiful jigged bone there. Just awesome. Just gorgeous. Thank you, Mark. Uh, definitely has a... Uh, a place of honor in the collection well there you go matt there's my uh there's my canoe collection and i hope you enjoyed it and i will uh definitely see you guys in the next one we'll talk to you later